damn it, fuck. Ah. Uh, um. Yeah. So it's been a long time since I've done any kind of VR chat video. The last time I did a full VR chat YouTube video was over one year ago. I'm on my way. Miss me not having this to be and then that just begs the question as to where have I been and why haven't I recorded anything in VR chat? I mean, as a lot of you guys know, this is one of my favorite games that I played for the longest time. This game has helped me through a lot of my own personal issues and gotten me out of my shell and made me want to create more VR videos. Well, as you saw before, I only was able to record as a half body with just my headset and my arms and that was about it. And I always liked watching people who had full body and full body tracking. So I waited a bit until I finally got up. Oh, these. But of course to do that, fucking full body trackers are expensive as shit. To get even just your legs tracked with Vive trackers, you would need to pay like a thousand dollars or something like that, which I don't have. And I don't have the credit score to take that out after all the credit cards I refused to pay off. So if only there was a cheaper alternative to full body tracking. Something that didn't require those fancy laser base station thingies and just worked right out of the box with very little actual things I needed to do. Enter Slime VR. What is Slime VR? Slime VR is a full body tracking solution similar to Vive trackers, except they use something called an IMU. What is an IMU? It is a fancy term for something that measures gravity and shit. I don't know, I'm not a fucking scientist. What did you expect coming here? This makes them not only cheaper, to make than Vive trackers, but also require less hardware like base stations, which constantly shoot lasers at you. That shit's dusty, holy fuck. And I don't know about you guys, but Star Wars has taught me, I don't want laser shot in my face all the fucking time. Now, if you've been in the VR chat space, you know that Slime VR has been talked about a lot by a lot of different people with a lot of different reviews. So this is my personal experience with it and talking about it based on someone who saw all those reviews and still decided to get them. However, before I get into the actual review of the Slime VR, it's important to talk about the really big elephant in the room when it comes to Slime VR. And that is the fact that it took me two fucking years to get these things. Okay, more specifically, it was 485 days, about 18 hours, 13 minutes and 52 seconds. But who's counting at this point? In the time that it took me to get these, I started as a VTuber. I went through several design changes from changing my color to being a live 2D model. I went through five jobs all this time waiting on these things to get delivered to me. And after all this time waiting, do you want to know what my 100% honest review of Slime VR is? Do you want to know after all that trouble what I think about these damn trackers? These are fucking incredible. But that being said, they do take a lot of work to get to be fucking incredible. You see, the people behind Slime VR have actually made it really awesome and really easy to get started with these things. Before, you had to do a whole bunch of shit. I know this has been talked about to death by Thrill Seeker and a couple of other people. The one for Slime first came out, it was a pain in the ass to set up. Since then, they got a program together that actually makes it really, really easy, and you just follow the setup wizard. Now that being said, there are some instructions that are unclear on the wizard. I mean, for fuck's sake, what the fuck does this mean? It took me so long. I, I, I did this as best as I could. I ended up having to look up a video to see what did they mean by this? And all in all, it did take me maybe the whole day to get it set up, but then again, I'm a dumbass, so your time might be shorter. So after setting them up and everything, how do they look, especially in comparison to something like Vive trackers, which are the gold standard when it comes to VR chat and full body tracking in general? After doing some fine tuning, just to make sure that everything smoothed out, looked right, and got how I felt it would look great, Slime VR actually does really well. Now, the one thing I should notice is that there is drift. There's quite a bit of drift sometimes. Usually what you can do is go into the program and fix it, do your stands and whatever, and then boom, you're back to doing what you need to do. 
where, you know, with vibe trackers, you would just hit a button. So there's kind of a point docked on that one. But again, these are like a couple hundred dollars cheaper. So you take what you can get. But man, when you get these things going, do they not look almost indistinguishable than Vive trackers or any other type of laser-based tracking? They can be really darn good. In VR chat, that is. To get a really good test on how good these full body trackers are, I decided to test them in games that weren't VR chat because while it's very, very clear that the crew behind Slime VR really wanted these for VR chat, there are other games that take full body tracking, like Blade and Sorcery VR, which struggled with quite a bit. Not gonna lie, this is less than pleasant. Face the undulating attack of my penis. Yeah. Oh shit, that was really effective. I don't think that's how humans naturally stand. Also, why the fuck are my trackers all the way down there? That makes no sense. Oh, my head's not being tracked. Oh yeah, now we're gonna do some damage. Come on, come on. Well, after violently stomping that man's brain in, I am now turned into a pretzel. So the trackers work a little bit. Clearly, this is more aimed towards VR chat users. I mean, between the fact that you can calibrate your full body, not only in the game, but also in the server that you create itself, you're more likely to be using it in VR chat more than any other game. Plus, not a lot of games really support full body tracking right now. I mean, off the top of my head, I know Zenith, Blade and Sorcery, VR chat. Does Boneworks? I actually don't know if Boneworks supports full body tracking. What the fuck? So yeah, we'll stick to VR chat where these trackers thrive. I spent almost two whole days in VR chat just hanging out, playing around with the trackers, and boy, did they look fucking fantastic when I got them to work. And with VR chat having a seemingly infinite amount of maps and infinite places you can go, I can now take my VTubing content where no VTuber has gone before. Space motherfucker! Whoa! Take that, Jeff Bezos. I'm gonna show you how a real fucker space walk. And these trackers have been a lot of fun on stream where I've shown them off a couple of times and shown people what full body tracking in stream can look like. Now, if only I could fix my damn audio issues, then it would be a perfect stream. <laughs> Nevertheless, recording with full body tracking has been a whole lot of fun and has given me the opportunity to do some real fun stunts and stuff like that in VR that I couldn't do before, which really amplifies content. And I couldn't have done any of that without the slime VR trackers. All in all, if you're looking for a really good, cheap alternative to full body tracking, slime VR is definitely the way to go. I mean, they cost way less than Vive trackers. You don't need base stations. Everything's right out of the box. And the actual quality of them is pretty damn good for what you get. And I can personally attest to their durability. I mean, the wires have started to kind of like move and shift a bit, which is a little bit worrying. But to be honest, it's not worrying enough to where I don't do stunts in VR. I mean, I pull weird shit like this all the time when I'm recording and when I'm just playing VR chat and just hanging out in public lobbies. You don't need these for content. You can also get these if you're just wanting to hang out with friends or, you know, express yourself more in VR chat without having to spend so much money. And so here we are at the end. Would I recommend Slime VR to everybody? Abso-freaking-lutely. I mean, it took a long time for mine to get here, and I know they're working out shipping issues and stuff still, but when these things are fully released and you can get them very easily, this is the shit, dude. I've had so much fun with these guys, and they've allowed me to do so many things that I couldn't do before content-wise, just everything. I highly recommend Slime VR to anybody who's interested in full body tracking or content creation or anything of the sort like that. Hey, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I know my live streams, my uploads and everything have been real all over the place while I'm trying to work out a couple of things that I got going on in real life, mainly finances. But if you guys really like my content and really want to support the channel and everything that I do here, you can check out all the links down below, linking to all my various social medias, 
all the things that I live stream on, everything like that. And you can catch my live streams when they're available here on YouTube and over on Twitch. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for your patience and thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye. Uh huh. We're waiting. <laughs> no, 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 no. He died. I'm, I'm, um, I'm still. Fuck!